Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to I think the last vlog for Spookoplathon. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, <laughs> um, hopefully it will be. In this vlog I will try and read the prompts for my TBR veteran prompt as well as Becca's Rex prompt. And I'm going to start with the Becca's Rex one and it is The Ravens by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. I don't know a lot about this book. All I know is it's about witches in a sorority or sorority witches or something like that. And obviously there's drama unfolding and all that kind of jazz. So I'm excited for this. Luckily this is a very quick intro. <laughs> but anyway, and then the TBR vet one will be... If I can get it. Whoops, Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. Um, so without any further ado, let's kick off this last week of Spookoplathon. Let me know down below in the comments if you took part in Spookoplathon, uh, how was your reading if you did? How was your reading if you didn't? And did you have a spooky October? Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started right! <laughs> Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back. I don't even know why I'm saying welcome back. We are on the second, actually third day of reading The Ravens. I didn't read yesterday. We went to go have, let's say brunch at this place close to us. And then we were planning on going shopping and then I just crashed. I couldn't do it anymore. I told my husband, turn around, we're going home because I don't have the energy for this. We came home and I slept. <laughs> so yeah i don't know what happened there but luckily today feels like a different day today i have more energy but that's not why you're here you're here for an update on the ravens so i reached let's say 35 percent um page 124 of the ravens and i can honestly say i don't know why i put this book down before i think i read this book last year this time around this year and i'm in love with it i really am in love with it it's about how am I going to put this without giving spoilers? It's about one girl who's a witch, but she doesn't know it. Her mom keeps telling her she's special, but you know, she chucks it up as every mom says her child is special. So I don't know why I'm special. And her mom doesn't want her to go to this college. I don't know what it's called. Wesley, I think. Her mom doesn't want her to go. And she's also like this excluded kind of person because she doesn't make friends easily. Um, she's been traveling most of her life around the world because her mom keeps trying to run away from people and I think it's gonna Incorporate in the story why her mom is trying to run away from them and then we get Scarlet um, Most of these people in Wesley is southern and the narrator does the coolest southern accent um, Not that I can do it, but to me, it's just cool anyway, and she has a really dark past she first is fighting to become like the principal of the ravens because i think she's in her second or third year of the sorority so she wants to become the principal as well as she's also fighting her past demons something happened in the past with two other witches who have been kicked out of the sorority that doesn't always happen but when it happens it's like quite severe um, and she's i would say she's being haunted but there's things happening, it's kind of like a mystery as well that links to the past sorority girls and I am dying to know what happened. Now she's also training Vivi, who's the character who doesn't know she's a witch, or she currently just found out she's a witch, but she's training her and she has like a gripe with her because Vivi talked to her boyfriend and her boyfriend is acting weird and now she's taking it out on Vivi and I'm just like, Scarlet, calm down, okay? Not everything is about you. <laughs> So it, it is quite interesting. The witchiness behind it and everything is also so cool. So I'm really enjoying it. I think I will knock this out of the park today. I mean, there's only 300 and something pages. Hold on, it's all the acknowledgements. Uh, 389 pages. I'm currently on 124, so I have around 200-ish pages. And the audio is very short and the chapters are also very short. So I'm trying to finish this book today so I can focus on Pretty Girls for the rest of the week. That will conclude my Spookoplathon TBR. I just want to show you how I went about everything. So unfortunately, 
um, the two spoopy fangs and frenemies was DNA for me. I just couldn't get into it. So I read the Brothers Grimm stories, which I will link up here if you want to go see it. And then I read Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, which was a very exceptional book. I really enjoyed it. And then I read Temptation Reader. <laughs> for a moment, I was like, what did I write there? That was my first book that I read, Four's Book Oplathon. And it was a romance book. It was like a happy, go feel, lucky one. Kind of what apparently candy corn tastes like. It's nice. I don't know. I've never had candy corn. And then the next one I read was Big Book, uh, Kingdom of Shadow, King, King, Kingdom of Shadows, <laughs> King of Scars, but that vlog will be up I think next week or the week after because I want to read Rule of Wolves as well before putting up that vlog. Uh, TBR Veteran was pretty girls. We, I, I still have it there. Still haven't touched it except for the 80 pages that I read. <laughs> and then I read the Wayward Girls last week, which was quite fun. I really enjoyed that one. That was a wild book on its own. Then the other one was A Chance that I pulled. I, the Full Drink, which was a chai latte that I kept on drinking during this month. Didn't show it, obviously, throughout it all. Then we have Becca's Rex, which is The Ravens. I'm currently busy with that. And then Give a Dark Romance. But try i believe and that was hollow by karina hall which i also read last week i don't remember if i put it in the vlog i think i mentioned it swiftly but there was a lot of things that were weird in that book so anyway but that's the progress i've made so far i'm very happy with the progress i've made um so yeah let's just have a deep dive into this i really hope i have the second book of this one i think it's the monarchs but i don't know if they interlink could be and maybe I can see if I can find that sometime, some way. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, let's carry on with this day. This is so good. There are so many twists and turns in here and I'm just sitting here going, what is happening? So the mystery has been revealed why one of the girls, I think, died or something. And now the other girl who was the dead girl's best friend um, is seeking revenge. So that's basically the plot. But I'm not going to tell you what else is happening. Just, I'm sorry. I just need to fix just know that this is wild and yeah there are so many twists and turns here i didn't expect it all i'm really enjoying it um right now i'm on chapter 28 of 40 but the last chapters i'm assuming are all very short because this is a very thin book you know what i just realized i haven't edited my vlog for last week for your last week my this week hello <laughs> So I'm going to have to go to the gym and then do that. But anyway, so yeah, um, back to this. <laughs> it is so good. I found The Monarchs, which is, I believe, the second book in this series, um, on script. So I am going to be listening to that. Not this week. Um, I need to finish Pretty Girls because that has been sitting on my TV all for too long and I want to know what's happening. Anyway, so yeah, for now... I'm enjoying it. I think I'll be finished with it once I get back from the gym. Um, and I also need to run a few errands, go to the shops. Although I don't know what I want to eat tonight. I'm half in the mood for like a chicken rice dish. But at the same time, I'm also like make macaroni and cheese because it's easier and it's faster. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> let me go quickly finish my stuff. Um, going to the gym. I, 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 five out of five stars. Just, <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. I enjoyed this book so much. The person who I thought was behind this whole dark magic thing, <laughs> no, wasn't them at all. So, fell for the red herring again. Anyway, love this book. <laughs> I really want to read The Monarchs now. I think it's a different book than this one. I don't know. I'm really not sure. Um, but I really enjoyed it. 
this really has the October vibes. You know, the whole spooky season kind of thing. I don't know. I just, I'm gushing about this book so much right now in my head, of course, not here. Because I don't have the words to describe how I enjoy this book. So yeah, giving it 5 out of 5 stars. I think this is by far my favorite book of the month. And then we go down to Hollow because Hollow was also good. But I really enjoyed The Ravens. And um, yeah, I'm still flabbergasted about everything. I don't know what else to say. Really, I don't. <laughs> it's on to Pretty Girls. I just... At least I still remember what happened in the beginning. Where am I anyway? Page... Let's say 90. I'm at page 90. So I do remember what happened. So I don't have to reread everything. Which is bliss. <laughs> so I'm going to continue with this right now. I don't know how I'm going to break it up though. Because I've seen a lot of people say that the first three quarters of this book is like really, really boring. And then it starts picking up at like the last quarter. And I'm like... That's... A lot of people's opinions might not be my opinion, but we'll see how it goes before I continue. <laughs> Let me read you the blurb because I kind of already know what this book is about. So there's no spoilers or anything for me. So it says, a missing girl, a hope never lost, a killer never found. 20 years ago, Claire Scott's eldest sister, Julia, went missing. No one knew where she went, no date, no body. It was a mystery that was never solved and it tore her family apart. Now another girl has disappeared with chilling echoes of the past, and it seems that she might not be the only one. Claire is convinced Julia's disappearance is linked, but when she begins to learn the truth about her sister, she is confronted with a shocking discovery, and nothing will ever be the same. Can I also just mention, in the beginning of this book, um, Claire discovers a really dark secret of her husband that makes me question him so much. He comes forth as this very gentleman-y kind of person, and as soon as she discovers that, tidbit of information on his computer she just she freaks out and i'm like fair enough because what the hell just happened what i i know what she saw but you know just put yourself in her shoes and what the hell did you just see that kind of thing because he was murdered this isn't a spoiler it's like at the first two chapters the police are investigating his murder and while they are going throughout the house because they also broke into her house or whatever or something I do remember, I swear. <laughs> um, she starts looking for a list of their valuables because her husband was like, for everything I buy, I need a barcode so that this can be sent to insurance if it's stolen or whatever or all that. And she discovers this whole situation on his computer. Instead of giving it to the detectives, she's like, oh, I found nothing on the computer. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> Just because... The more she harbors it, the more she's digging her own grave. Or is it just me? Explain that to me. How are you keeping silent about this? I would have just been like, there's something funky here. So there you go. Thank you. But uh, yeah. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Anyway, uh, that's just my rant of that whole issue. I'm, I'm trying to smash through the rest of my TBR because, um, I don't know. October has been long for me and I really want it to be over now. So... <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can finish this maybe on Thursday. Hello. I don't know where my book is. This book is confusing the hell out of me. Anyway, um, first of all, Paul, big red flag, question mark, everything that's just wrong with this person is in this book. I have so many questions about this man's character and I'm just like, man, you were married to this person for 17 years. I think you should have run like when you first started dating. I don't know. But that's the problem because all his issues are only surfacing now that he's gone. So, well, not issues. He's got weird stuff happening. And I believe one of the, de the I believe one of the detectives involved, he is also very sketchy. I don't like him. So I, I think they all corrupt in this book. I don't know. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. And then we get another character. I don't know if I mentioned this. We have Lydia and we have Claire. I wasn't aware Lydia was Claire's like sister. And then they kept talking about Paul and what Paul did to Lydia or what he attempted to do to Lydia. And I'm just like, how do you know each other? And then she talks about her father who didn't, you know, it was a very difficult situation for him when their sister Julia went missing. 
And I'm like, how do you two fit into one another? Because they don't even have the same descriptions. I, I was very confused. Until some point where they were like, oh, we're sisters. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that makes so much sense right now. So, yeah. Don't, if you read a book, just don't stop. <laughs> just continue. Anyway, because there was no indication in the first 80 pages that Lydia and Claire were sisters. None whatsoever. They are so estranged that I didn't even think that. Up until like 100 pages, something along the mention of sisters, I was like, uh huh. <laughs> Things are making so much sense right now. So um, I didn't make a big dent in the book yet. I'm on page 141 right now. It's swings tuesday today i have three days i can knock this out of the park man yeah okay it's kind of all there we go okay so chapter 10 today chapter 17 tomorrow and then the rest uh there was something else i wanted to say right now about this book the chapters they are so long last night i was reading chapter six and i was sitting i was going okay 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 <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing. Or did I say chapter six? I mean five. I saw six here and I was like, oh, okay. The, the chapters are so long and there's nothing in the chapter that, that I'm thinking you could have left that out because everything in the chapter like made sense. It was like building up and building up and building up. But you know, 20 pages later or 30 pages later, I was like, can this chapter end? Like, where are we going with this? <laughs> anyway. So for now, I think I just need to go do some stuff. I'm currently busy editing my video because I couldn't yesterday because I completely forgot about it. So that was a smart move on my side. Anyway, so I will be editing. I'm actually going to eat first, then I'll edit, and then we'll see how the rest of the day goes. And that's my spew. It's hot. But I'm in real need of some coffee and I bought two cappuccino stuffs yesterday. Sorry, you can't see my face. I'm the decapitated horseman from Sleepy Hollow. Anyway, I've got the salted caramel one. This one is nice. And then I have the hazelnut cappuccino. I don't know how this one tastes like. I really like hazelnut. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave the salted caramel for last because I don't know. Oops, sorry. Now you can see my face. <laughs> I don't know how this one tastes, so... Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. So, first of all, if you hear that, that's the dishwasher. <laughs> um, this book is so dark. Like, it's very intriguing. Don't get me wrong. It's very intriguing. Um, but it's so dark and it makes me scared to be a woman, to be honest. The, this book is just so horrible, but I can't stop reading. I need to know what happened. I need to know who the guilty party is. I am currently on 48% now, almost 50%. <sighs> Listen, just check the trigger warnings in this book. I, I picked up the Kindle version because the paper <laughs> for the book itself it's just, I don't know. I don't know what has been happening since I read The Wayward Girls, but I can't touch a book right now. I'm just, every time I touch it, I'm like, the, the paper just doesn't want to work with my fingers. So anyway, so I don't want to give too much spoilers. Like really, I want you to dive into this book if you're going to read it head first and without any spoilers. But just know that there's some dark and twisted themes in here. Like there's also a heaviness in me from reading this and this book is probably going to make me so depro because I'm a journalist, I also work with these issues but you, you are never personally involved in this issue, at least I'm not because I'm an online journalist so I don't deep dive into these issues but seeing, seeing it from this perspective and how it shatters families, how when women disappear, what happens to them? And the dark things that Claire found on her husband's laptop or computer or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it raises a lot of questions. And every police officer, like in the story right now, is questionable. The captain is questionable. The FBI agent is questionable. And the person who Claire had a thing with who is also Paul's partner, yeah, is, he's sketchy. 
And then Claire also found, I think, like 18 tabs kept on women that were that went through stuff that were they they were essentially essayed. 18 women, and they all are in Paul's possession. And then Paul also seemed to have another secret life. And I'm just like, this man is a complete mess. Um, so yeah. I don't know where the story is going. I don't even have a prediction of what is going further. I really don't know. Um, if I can guess, I would probably say the captain is in on it because he's trying to keep information away from people. And then, I don't know. The FBI agent, I think, is just weird. He's a concerned citizen in a weird kind of way, and he expresses it weirdly because he's very flirty with um, Claire, and it's weird. It comes off very creepy. So, I don't know. This whole thing is just a maze, guys. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What's up? And welcome back to the end of the vlog. <laughs> I'm just trying to fix my jacket because, you know, it's cold. It's very cold. <laughs> I think the high today is 12 degrees Celsius. So. Anyway, um, so I'm coming out in this vlog of finishing Pretty Girls by Corinne Slaughter. Okay, I'm going to give this book a four stars. Just know that I didn't... I, I enjoyed... Mm, enjoyed is a very loose term here. I don't know how to... Like, I enjoyed the writing. Let me put it like that. I really enjoyed the writing. But if you want to go into this book, check trigger warnings. Because it has them all. So, it was a very hard read for me to read this book. Um, this book also highlights the, the dangers of being a woman in this world. And how sick people can be. And, um, yeah, I talked a lot about Paul and his mysterious world and whatever happened there. It got worse. <laughs> The more I read, the worse it got. And I don't want to give spoilers or anything. So, yeah, it was just a crazy, disturbing book to read. And um, I don't think I'll be reading another Corrin Slaughter soon. I feel like she takes some heavy topics and she discusses these. And it just, it's disturbing. I don't mind murder mysteries or crime stories or what, but this one was just, it took it to a whole new level. So yeah, probably my fault because I didn't check the trigger warnings because I never read trigger warnings. <laughs> anyway, this book also reads like a true crime novel. I don't know if any one of you watched like, uh, what is it, Investigation Discovery or I think it's the ID channel or something along those lines where the cruelest, sickest stories are always on that show and how the police try and solve it. This was basically that. And um, yeah, it disturbed me quite a lot. It goes into gory detail about everything that happened. And I don't know. I am happy I read this book, but I'm also happy I finished this book. And this will be going on my selling list. <laughs> that is it for this vlog. And that is going to be it for Spookoplathon. I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs. If you haven't seen any of the previous vlogs, I'll link them down below. Or I'll attach them here with a cord, whatever. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a video on Thursday or next week. I really enjoyed this month. I got a lot of reading done, had a lot of new favorites. So yeah, I think that's about that. I'll see you guys in a video next week. Bye.